Welcome to TVN Business. I am Chiwendo Osisiogo. The federal government may increase the level of borrowing this year to address the 102.8 billion naira funding gap that has been created as a result of the National Assembly tickering with the 2019 budget. The Minister of Budget and National Planning, Senator Udo Udoma, said this on Tuesday in Abuja during the public presentation of the 2019 approved budget, stating that when the bill was presented by the President to the National Assembly, the proposal contained the sum of 8.83 trillion naira, made up of 4.04 trillion naira for recurrent expenditure. 2.03 trillion naira for a capital expenditure and 2.14 trillion naira for debt servicing among others. Highlights of the 2019 budget as approved by the National Assembly include capital expenditure of 2.09 trillion naira, recurrent expenditure of 4.07 trillion naira, statutory transfers of 502 billion naira, fiscal deficit of 1.92 trillion naira, and special intervention of 500 billion naira. The convoy of the Minister of Finance, Zainab Ahmed, was on Tuesday night blocked by angry pensioners of the default Nigeria Airways. The pensioners who had arrived at the headquarters of the Ministry of Finance on Tuesday morning for pension verification claimed that they had traveled to Abuja from various parts of the country on the invitation of the Ministry for data capturing. Some of them who spoke to our correspondent lamented the hardship they were subjected to since Sunday as they had to sleep in open space within and around the Finance Ministry premises. The minister who was rushing home to break a Ramadan fast after a meeting with head of agency under the ministry was caught in the web of protests. Among the government officials that came to see the finance minister at that time, the protesters sealed the ministry entrance gain to include the director general of debt management office, patient Oniha, commissioner for insurance, Mohammed Kari, and senior special assistant to the president of national assembly, senate, Itan Enang. The, protester, the protesters paraded the entrance gate to the main gate and prevented the minister from leaving the premises. The Senate on Tuesday approved $266 million loan request for some developmental projects in Niger State. The loan is the state development policy, operation credit facilities from the World Bank as well as the Islamic Development Bank. The approval followed the abduction of the report of the Committee on Local and Foreign Debt and is the third tranche of foreign loan approval for state. The chairman of the committee, Shehu Saniwa, presented the report said the project and marked the Niger state government would boost the social economic development of the state. It said the Niger state $266 million loan was approved by the World Bank in 2016 and captured in the 2016-2018 external borrowing plan of President Muhammad Buhari, adding that the credit facility had an attractive low financing data of 1.25% interest for a period of five years and 25-year maturity tenure. That's the much we have for you today on TVN Business. I am Chiwendo Usisiogo. Thanks for watching.